real yeah. nesters. Yo, make, hit make that sure, website and go get this merch. Make sure you guys go to realnesters.com. Dot com. And get your merch. We got a brand new design, brand new shh, shh, logo. Shh, shh, shh. Check it out. Shh, shh, shh. That's the secrets. Vermont, do, re, ignore that. Ignore edit that. Edit that out. Edit that out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And it is our favorite season. We told y'all we was going to come back with the next season of Married at First Sight. And season. here we are. 13. Let me, let me show fingers. Let me show what? Fingers. You need the finger? Let me show what? Let me show fingers. What? What the? This. This come on, throwing hold up, on. You throwing up gang signs. No, 13. Season 13. <laughs> no, 13. no, no. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> it's not wrong with them. Season and 13. Gentlemen. But anyway, yes, we are back. And so there was two previous episodes, but... If y'all watch this show, y'all know the first episode is about them showing you the process of them finding the people that they put together. Yeah. The second episode, they doing this new thing they started last season, which is to have um, this panelist group of editors or publishers, I think it is. Yeah. And they weigh on who they think will stay together and not. And honestly, I have not watched that episode yet. So it will be interesting to see who they think is going to stay together. So this is the real episode here. This is the episode after they've told everybody they're getting married. And these people are out telling their family members that I'm getting married in two weeks. I went from being single to being engaged. I got to get my notes. I got to get my notes. So, so as of this point, they've only shown two couples. Two and you gonna start it with me to start. I got my notes. Frankie, baby. You probably got the notes on that. But the first couple is uh Marilla and Mar Marilla and Gil. And Gil, yeah, we're messing up everybody. This is the first name. time they This is no John John, Patty, and Kathy situation. These are some serious names. We gotta pay attention. All right. So this is the first time they kinda venture off into like a, a mixture of some cultures with this couple. He's Colombian, dark skinned Colombian at that. And she's like, a, I guess we're going to find out, but she's either, uh, uh, you know. Don't, don't, just don't. She's a mixture of some type yeah, of Hispanic you, you know, or Puerto yeah, Rican. Yeah, yeah, Hispanic know, or Puerto Rican go, type. Go. They get yeah. offended if you say the wrong thing. Just let it go. Yeah, yeah. Wait until we find out what it is. Yeah, so we're going to see what's going on there. But she is uh, bougie. She said, she's, she, she's class, <laughs> that's all he wrote down. She's bougie. She classified herself as bougie. He is a fireman, and like I said, he's a Colombian. And um, so he liked to solve them. Yeah, dun, dun, so that we just dun, get dun, into dun, it. Dun, it's just dun, intro. Dun, you dun, take dun. the next couple. Oh, you guys, we forgot to tell you the name of this episode is The Lone Stars. No more. Lone Stars, no more. No more. So, anyway, because, so the second couple. And that's because they're in Houston. Lone Star State, you get it. Lone Stars, no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, couple. the second couple is Michaela and Zach. Yes. So Zach we could get with, but uh, Michaela is spelled close to Michael. But okay. So this is, um, oh yeah, and that's another thing. They gave everybody little catchy nicknames. So for her, they picked the stubborn sweetheart. And for him, the romantic idealist. And that's who we've met, met so far. And these guys, well, actually, Michaela hasn't told her people yet. But yeah. uh, Zach just told his mom and she's crying because she doesn't want no stranger with her baby. Yeah. And he comes from a family of three brothers. So it's mm -hmm. uh, one brother's already married. One brother's in a long term relationship. Yeah, and boy. he's like, what yeah. about me? We already know he's a mama boy, too. Yeah, because he's sitting across from his mom like, dude, why are you mm -hmm. crying? I can't. But yeah. anyway, we'll be right back. We're going to meet the other couples, and we get ready to let y'all know how it goes down. Ready. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some updates. We have met our second two new couples. No, they just did one. Oh, they finished, they finished off, off with Michaela and Zach. Yeah. And, uh, Michaela, we went yeah, to the Michaela part. it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> you finish it off because you were working on those, so you finish off Michaela. Um, they're gonna be interesting, guys. Uh, it sounds like she's very outgoing, and it seems like he's very quiet, so we have to see how this works out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to call this season better because we, we did we call it last season mm -hmm. uh, half and half. Yeah, like about half and half. half. Yeah. Well, they get they brought in the next couple up. This is the third couple, yeah. Bao 
and Johnny. I was gonna see if he pronounced it right. Bao, B A O. So Bao is the, is the lady, and Johnny, of course, is the guy there of uh, I guess of uh, uh, Asian uh, or uh, Asian uh, pr- uh, uh, yeah. Nomination. It's hard. We're we're not gonna get into that in today's yeah, specific. Yeah, we wait for we have yeah, we don't after to after they nobody. meet each other and introduce themselves. They have the exact thing, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, so about, this one is pretty cultured, which is really awesome. For yeah, one, a lot, you know? lot of culture. Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. And I guess I start off with Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, aka looking like Bruce Lee type. You know. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, he don't. Johnny is he, he, he claims himself to be OCD, has to have everything in perfect order. And he's order. a germaphobe. Yeah, he's a germaphobe. He's an OCD controlling germaphobe. So we're gonna <laughs> see how this goes. But wait a minute. You, I, I'm, I'm, I'm co-signing. I'm, I'm co-signing. I'm, you got Bow. I got Johnny. You ain't say that, but go ahead. Yeah. I was co-signing. Now, he's scared of falling in love, he, he, and he's a, a control freak. He wants to control the situation in the relationship, and he's uh, he uh, wants the woman to fall in love and, and, and head over heels and, with him before he's in love with her, so he don't get his feelings hurt. I was about he to say, yeah. He wants to make sure... That she's into him. And now, what's up with Bao? Now, Bao, on the other hand, I don't remember. I don't have no notes on it. Did she, they, she ain't do her family. No, yet. no, they didn't she ain't do her yet. family. They, oh, yeah, Bao is kinda, coming up. Yeah, they kind of do like one, they introduce the couple and then they go through the one with their family and their family meeting and then they, you know, kind of cut the break. Yeah, Bao is coming up. And right. then they're going to wrap up the whole situation before they hop into the next people. But, it's hard to kind of tell right now. How many couples do it normally have? Five. Five. Okay, so we got two. So more. it's kind of hard to tell right now who would go where, but. I thought yeah. the night they were supposed to get married. No, they start. They, okay. This is the. They, they actually match them the, up. Yeah, and they actually start the bachelor parties. Okay. They go shopping and bachelor party, bachelor and bachelorette parties okay. first. Okay. So uh, marriage is almost like the. So Third this is four. basically the reveal of who's matched up yes. together. And them telling their families and going wedding shopping. There it is. Well, we're going to see what Bao is talking about as they get into it. So we see you guys. So few. ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And as we was explaining to you guys earlier in the video, what they're doing is doing like present the couple, do one couple, then go to commercial. I mean, one person do go to commercial break. Do the second person and then introduce the new couple. So um, we were finishing up with um, Bao and Johnny. And they, the cool part, I got to tell you, you guys, I know it's earlier, uh, earlier this video, I just said to you guys, it's hard to tell what's happening. But I like Bao already. She seems really cool, down to earth. And I loved it when she told her family they wasn't doing the whole hum ha. They were so excited for her. They was happy. They thought it was a great idea. Um, she had two brothers and a roommate. Mm-hmm. She's very outgoing, and she's she also is very uh intelligent. And she said basically she do everything in spreadsheets. So this is gonna be interesting to see her and Johnny um relationship together when they both are very kind of OCD about certain things, even though they didn't use that term for her. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was pretty cool. I like her already. Like, she's just chill. Um, and then they introduced Brett and Ryan. Now, Brett is a female, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Brett is a female. And I, I was telling my husband, I don't know, maybe it's short for Brittany or or something, you know. You know how people do. They don't really like their name or it's too hard to pronounce, so they shorten it. And that's what they came up with. But anyway, we met uh, Ryan, Ryan with his family, and you're gonna talk about Ryan. Ryan is a good old country boy. He's a they classify him as a serial dater. Mm-hmm. He's dated a lot of women, but I think uh, you know just looking at him, he's just trying to find that one, and he just you know he's not like a um, you know a player. Yeah, a player. Or a jerk. He's just trying to find. I think he's real particular. He's just looking for that one. He's a outdoorsman type person, a country boy. Farmers. He's a good old, farmers. Good old com. country boy. He should. He probably been on farmers. dot com if you can find ah. him. Out there. And Ryan, 
falls in love real quick. Yeah, and he actually even his still, parents said that he thought his sister was gonna be upset, but she actually's not. She's excited. Not yet. Not yet. She's excited for him. So I love when the family is supporting them through this process because. You got to, one, be brave, but secondly, you got to want it badly, or do you want clout? Now, I will now, say people been on the show who didn't want clout. Now, the issue is going to come in. He's going to fall in love and be all into her, but is she going to be, be into, into him? him? It's always Ooh. something, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to try to do some good predictions this year. We needed to go back. We didn't go back and do that to see if our predictions was right. We were 50 50 last year. I think we was 50 50. Yeah, 50 50. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, uh, we be back. I'm always ready, baby. He always asks me if I'm if ready. You, I'm always if you ready, stay baby. ready, you ain't got to get and ready. And I'm ready. You see me? Look. Cheese. Well, they finally got back to. You first, you got to start from Bow. Go. So, I did talk about Bow. I said that. Uh, spreadsheet. She was this is awesome. about the spreadsheet. Yes, I did. So we on Ryan awesome, and Brett. And all how awesome her brothers were. No, we did. We was on Ryan and Brett. Oh, so Brett is a lady. I think we did say that. Yeah. Um, she's a hopeless romantic. Yeah. She's a coach. She is physically fit. Um, she seemed pretty cool. Yeah. So far. Uh Brett is looking for love. Wait a minute, you still on? We still on? Brett is looking for love. Oh, Brett is looking for love. And yeah. She's a, coach. she's a she's a actual uh soccer coach. Oh yeah. Yeah, not like life coach. She's a soccer coach. So we are well. I'm predicting that it should be a pretty good fit because he likes to do a lot of outdoor stuff, and she's a coach. She's athletic. So that part of it, I don't see an issue at all with. And then we went to Rachel. And Jose. So Rachel, um, they didn't give her much screen time, to be honest with you. They didn't even say who her, her, you know, like they flashed the names up. They only said it, it was her mom and her best friend. Her best friend is super negative. Earlier, I was just saying how I don't like when people are negative and don't support um, their family members and their choices. Then, and I mean, she was mm. super negative. Mm. Well, and so, real name get the Jose then. yeah, and, but, <laughs> and then, um, she, they was talking about how passive she is and how she doesn't speak up for herself. Yeah, she's laid back. And you could tell her feelings was hurt, but of course she wasn't saying anything. So I don't know how well, honestly, I got my first eh, couple that that's going to work for Jose. He's very outgoing, very talkative, very intelligent. Um, I don't want to say he's OCD, but he got his life together. Yeah. And in order, decent and in order. He's bringing that to the table for only sure. Only thing he's missing is a wife. Only thing he's and missing kids. is wife and kids. Yeah. So um, if she's ready for that, that will work. But I don't know how the passiveness will work for him. I think he wants somebody who vibes the way he vibes. Because we gotta. Because well, she. Well, we gotta see whether basically it's gonna come down to whether she meets. His expectations. Yes, I. I don't. I think he's going to like us for his looks. Yeah, I, think that's I don't going think to be looks cool. is going to be an issue. Yeah, it's just going to be whether she meets his expectations. And the other thing that we found, oh, uh, those two was cool. But the other thing that the show tipped into is, um, what's our guy name? Remember, we just getting into uh, the uh, Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, they showed um, Johnny. Cause. Telling his father. Yeah. And his father was so upset that he didn't even want to be filmed. Really? <laughs> um, he was so, his father was so upset he didn't even want to be filmed. He wouldn't even let them fill, play the phone call. So he didn't sign any release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But be hearing voice. the most interesting thing about it is Johnny already knew this. So here's one of those things where you feel like the producers put people up to doing things. Because yeah. Johnny said in the beginning he did not want to involve his father because he already knew how negative his father would be oh, yeah, and then yeah. it would bother him for the whole two weeks up until the wedding but mysteriously we pop back and he ends up calling them and that's exactly what happened we need to point that out this season because they did that a lot last year with Paige and then we mm -hmm. need to point out when we think that this was the show the producers that said it's not, that it's made not them the, do um, this particular thing it's not 
the it's not Pastor Cal, it's not Dr. Pepper, and it's not Dr. Viviana. Producers. It's the producers, the ones who's are in the room with them, and you know, it's supposed to be uh uh what is uh, initiate facil facilitating facilitating like mm -hmm. the actions and things. So this is definitely a sign of something the producers made him do. So we're gonna point that out this year, and if any of you producers from Mad at First Sight are watching, mm -hmm. we are gonna let you know. Wait a minute, he give, he we're giving let them, you know. he, he giving them the parent finger. That's right, we're gonna let you know because we tired of this foolishness. We <laughs> we want we want to see a good show, and we want to see we a want real the show to survive. Yeah. They're not surviving with the extra drama you're adding onto their eight week in front of TV situation. Say the drama for your mama. We see your Ladies mama. and gentlemen, we went up for a snack, so my hands are sticky. Snack break. Cause anyway. Because y'all know how those real nesters do real on nesters. snack break. Real yeah. Ooh, anyway. Yeah. So, we're at the part now where the, the, couples. the guys are hanging out, the ladies are hanging out. Yeah. And I like this part because... It's hard sometimes to judge whether or not you think a couple want to stay together because you don't really know their personalities. Like, it's one thing to hear the um, experts describe them. And you see them for a couple of minutes with their friends or family. But it's good to see them in this environment, sitting down, having a conversation. Because I think we've got a way better judge of their personalities seeing them like this. Yeah. So what we've come up with is that... Uh, Anything could be better than Paige and Chris last year. Well, not that, Anything. but Mila is very is the conservative one out the girls. Mm -hmm. uh, she says she's not kissing at the altar. Mm -mm. Um, Gil is saying, which is her match, he like he want all of it at the altar, all of it. Okay. Um, Michaela, she's like eh, uh, either way, and her guy is Zach. Zach is actually the youngest guy out of the crew. So see what I'm saying? This conversation is teaching us a lot. All the guys are actually 35. Mm. They are Except into... Except for one, 27, Zach. That's what I just said. He's the youngest out the crew. Mm. Everybody else is 35. So they're actually making history on top of history. Because one, for all the guys to be almost the same age. Secondly, they're into um, different nationalities, different cultures now. It's not just focused on one or two Cultures, and you know, know what they mean. did this year? If they learned from last year, is that they didn't make a big age difference between the men oh, the and the women this yeah, year. Yeah, they they learned their lesson last year. Um, but that that wasn't really a bad thing. But I mean, they have done the older woman versus younger guy before, which was uh your couple, your your guy Miles and uh Karen. Karen. But they also did that before the year before. It did not work out. So the reason why I'm bringing that up is because Michaela is 30 and Zach is 27. So three different, three. Yeah, that's, yeah that's but nothing. sometimes that's, nah, that's we got to see. That's we got to see if that's a big deal to her. Women mature uh, faster than men. Exactly. So which means she's already older than him. And now oh, she's. Oh, so she going to think he, he uh, young. Immature. Nah, I don't see it We'll yet. see. We'll see. He he seems mature for his yet. age. I don't he see seems it mature. Yet. Um, so yeah, so we learned that in, uh, Johnny, Johnny has a great personality. Mm -hmm. He's pretty funny, laid back, chill guy. And they, we found out that Bao, Bao, Bao is, uh, a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. She's really sweet, but so they don't gonna, cross her. They're going to have to meet in the middle somewhere. Mm-hmm. They, that's, that, they both going to have to give up a little. And compromise. They go have. That's gonna be their challenge. So so far, we taking an early prediction. Who's your favorite couple? Mm. You guys see them together at the altar. I, I, I definitely everybody's even. To me, everybody's pretty much even now. Nope. They haven't gotten married yet, so I can't make nope. that prediction until they I'm get married. I'm making the prediction based no, on the person. You need to wait until they get married. You can't no, do that. No. Yeah, I married. can do what I want. They haven't even gotten married yet. Yeah, I don't need. This might married. be the first time in history that somebody run off off the altar and don't even go through with it. Run off the altar. The producers ain't gonna let that happen. <laughs> the producers ain't gonna let that happen. They already signed away their soul. Everybody's getting married. So we got about twenty more minutes. You they guys. have had a couple that uh, divorced. I think right after the honeymoon, though. Mm -hmm. Only one. Ready for what? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. 
we are watching this. Uh, this is actually three hours long. I thought it was just going to be two. So um, now we're at the place where the couples, they went from meeting each other to having their bachelor and bachelorette parties. Well, wait a minute. This is where I put in. You just see it on the video. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, they had their bachelor and bachelorette parties, and they're getting to know each other as friends. And uh, what else happened? So... They're at the point now. Bachelor parties. Yeah, at the bachelor and bachelorette parties. Nobody was too wild or crazy like we've seen over really? the years. Everybody's yeah. kind of just chill. But what we learned is what's her name? Mila? Mowler. Sorry, we're messing up her name. Marilyn. She's the one that's with, uh, what's his name? Gil. They're yeah. the first couple. Uh, she is super reserved. And one of the things they said to him is, what do you think your date is doing, what your future wife is doing right now? He said, if the experts pick the right one for me, she's the life of the party. Mm. Well, she was totally not the life of the party. Um, but everybody else seemed to be getting along. They like each other. They're all having fun. Uh, Johnny did make a really good joke about, uh, what's this guy name? We getting to know them. Um, Josh, what's it, Josh? No, yeah. that's Jose. Um, but the way they the way they are talking, you know, it's the editing. But you would think that they got the wrong couples matched together, cause yeah, because they're some of the stuff describing that they what the other one is doing. Yeah, so it's like yeah. they, you would think they got them messed up. Because why did the girl say something about I wish my man worked at NASA or something? And mm. that's totally other not guy. her dude. <laughs> yeah. And then the other lady said, uh. uh I forgot what it was said. But yeah, it makes it look like, you know, it switched all around. But anyway, everybody's having fun. They're about to lay down because this started off 14, then 10 days before the wedding. So they actually uh, picked all their outfits. Yeah, that's what else we probably forgot to add. They all went wedding shopping. Everybody's picked their outfits. And the bachelor and bachelorette parties are over. And now the nerves are kicking in. Uh -huh. But... And I predict two are going to get busy on the wedding night. Okay, yeah, that's the first prediction. Two. Who's going to get it on wedding Leave night? a comment down below. Pause this video and leave a comment. Oh, well, are they going to know? Yeah, y'all not going to know by the time. So, so leave a comment <laughs> yeah. down below and, and let us know who you think is going to get busy on he the wedding night. He predicts one for sure. Yeah. That's uh, Rachel and... um. Rachel and Jose. Leave a comment with your first name and we will shout you out on the next video. On the next video. Mm -hmm. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is really good. It's good to see these people bonding and getting to know each other. It's actually pretty cool, too, to see the friendships um, form because almost every year it's like one guy who the other guys, they don't say it, but they don't really care for him. So, so far, it looks like everybody's getting along. And uh, all the women are surprising each other because they all seem quiet and reserved until they were just at this bachelor party. The only one for sure is, what is, how do you pronounce her name again? Yeah, they all got some. Merla. Merla. Yeah, strange name. Yeah, Merla is the only one who's very weird right now. Yeah. So but anyway, we'll be right back. We're wrapping this watching, baby up. we watching you, Merla. Ladies and gentlemen, your girl is staying up for y'all. They did this to me again. <laughs> she had yawned like two or three times. Yes. She, can, she can't hang. It but is you know 37. What? James Real Nessa, I still got it. Do you see his eyes barely? Now y'all think that was awake. He barely awake. Anyway, so you guys, they are waking up, getting dressed, and it is wedding day. So the first couple up to get married is Johnny and Bow. Mm. And ladies and gentlemen, they, they exchange gifts. Yeah, roll it back. And um, they, they, they can't hear you. So Bao gave Johnny a sympathy card, <laughs> saying you're gonna need your your family and friends at this time. Mm. And uh, he thought that was hilarious. She gave him some weird funky socks and a little kit. Uh, what is it called? The groom emergency kit. Emergency kit. kit. Mm -hmm. With candy and stuff in there, which he adored. He loved it because he said that shows her sense of humor. And it's also something he would have did. But he, on the other hand, did not score very well with her in the gift department. 
Uh, he gave her like a picture frame where he wrote, you know, marrying a stranger or whatever. I guess it's so that they could put their pictures in, you know, to start their memories. But he wrapped it in a sports jersey. Yeah. And his second gift, she didn't even say what the second gift was, but that was wrapped in a sports jersey too. And she is losing it about that, guys. She said, I wanted a brilliant mind. I was thinking about the Nobel Peace Prize. It's like... She is losing it. And her mom is being I super think, supportive. I think she think he's like a jock. Yeah, she says like she don't a want jock. a jock. Right. But he's not a jock. He's actually a nerd. Yeah, um, yeah. I forgot what his job is, but I know he's really into stocks and, yeah, you know. He, yeah. yeah, he's really, really smart. He likes sports, but he's not a jock yeah. type, of, type of guy. Yeah, so she's losing it, you guys. Um, this, this is where it gets intense. But for me, to be honest with you guys, I feel like things going to be pretty good between them two um, once they get together. So this is actually, even before them, the husband told me not to make this prediction, but they are definitely going to be one of my favorite couples. One? You can only have one favorite. No, no. You can't say one of my it's favorite. Five, it ain't but five I can couples. Have whatever no, I no, like. it's a one couple. I am One wrong. couple. You can't tell one me what couple. I can and cannot have. You can't have anyway. One. Okay, well, all five is going to be one of my favorite couples. Well, all five of them. Nah, I can't lose. He all, it's, you see, he's trying to start an argument to stay can't awake because he gets sleepy. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, they are definitely going to be but any, in but any my who. top three of couples because I think they're going to be funny and nice to watch. Hmm. Um, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see. But anywho. But anywho, we be back. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the wrap up of the show. Wrap up. And of... I am talking like this because I am tired and trying to stay awake. Oh, you know what we didn't do? What we didn't do? Didn't get the name of the first episode. The name? Of the... Yes, we did. It was a. Uh... Oh, living, let it, let it. Uh, it was a. Uh... Oh, was... I can tell you what's that. Yeah, let it. Lone Stars No More. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have already experienced our first wedding. We've yeah. been taking our first wedding. Yet this is the first time they, they wrote the first wedding. At the in, end, like no, the complete No, end. in the beginning. Yeah. Of the, uh, you know, at three, well, you know, we thought, they, okay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Bow. Um, Bow and Johnny are now married. Man. We've attended their beautiful wedding. Would you like to start, or you want me to start? You start. So the I wonderful, just chime in. the wonderful thing is, you guys, is they knew each other. If y'all seen the previews, I already knew that. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler alert. But anyway, um, his mouth actually dropped when he seen it was her. And remember, if you know a little bit earlier in the video, I was saying how she was flipping out because she thought he was a sports fan. Yeah. And she just, she was, she started not to even go down the aisle. Her mom was encouraging her. Yeah. And once she got halfway down the aisle and realized who it was, she goes, it's Johnny, you know? So, um, they both have already admitted that they are both attracted to each other. Mm. Um, they knew each other from college. They ten were ten years ago. Ten years ago, in the same role as like some kind president of, of, uh, of some kind of club, or something. Yeah. right? But they went to two different schools, yeah. but they were in the same position. Yeah. So she actually said this is soothing to her because she realized he has multiple levels. She yeah. knows that about him, so she's not intimidated about the sports gift anymore. She yeah. was pretty excited. Um, oh, that she did hint that. Was that in college, she was like a ladies' man. He was a player in yeah. college, he was. But it's been um, 10 years, so, yeah. you know, he's matured. Well, and the funny part is, while they're sitting there, they did their family pictures. Turned out great. They kissed at the altar. In the, um, on the mouth, too. And uh, and for longer than two seconds. Yeah, but about like five seconds. It, it was, yeah, it was, it was it was a little church kiss. It was a long church kiss. It was a long church kiss. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> and then they, you know, they both were excited. They wanted to know how they both got there. And he asked her, uh, did you ever, were you ever on dating that? So she goes, yes. And he goes, did you have a swipe left on me? And she goes, no, you was always a potential. And he's like, oh, okay. So they, they are pretty excited. They are pretty happy with each other. He says she's very attractive. He, she said the same thing about him. So it looks like we're on a good start. And he actually asked her be, um, because of their culture, they do like a tea ceremony. And she was like, oh, I actually insisted that we do that. Yeah, so yeah. they are actually preparing um, to do their tea ceremony. And this is why they're my favorite couple. Oh! Yeah. 
If y'all, yeah. you better not edit it out either. Edit it, it, it out. Earlier it in out. this video, it 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 when I out. said that it these it guys, I know y'all heard me say it about no. her first. You let said I have multiple favorites. No, let this me finish. This one couple, and no. only this one couple is my favorite. He just want to argue. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. If y'all uh, seeing earlier in the video, I said that she was one of my favorite people in general. And that I thought that them two together would be good because they got great personalities and it's going to be wonderful to watch. And I definitely think that they're going to be in my top three of favorite couples. For they're sure. my number one. Ain't no top three. They're my yeah. number one. I, I think they will be. It seems like it. They're like they're definitely in the space of Brianna and Vincent. Mm, but I think everybody's going to love them. But next week, well, Sunday coming up, it's Sunday. about to hit the fan. When did they come on Wednesday? Wednesday. So this one was recorded. What's the day, Wednesday? This was recorded tonight. Okay, so we got another whole week, you guys. <laughs> He's a little thrown off because we're reviewing two shows this season. Yeah. Um, you, but you're gonna see this probably on a Sunday because what we're gonna try to do because we're doing two shows. You're gonna see all the merit at uh, first sights on Sunday. Don't listen to him, you guys. He changes up the. the and then. Like, you're going to see the him. other one that we're doing on Fridays. Don't listen to him, you guys. He changes it up all the so time. So make sure y'all stay tuned. You got to always hit that like feels. button to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you mean the bell. hit that bell so you the get those notifications. You see his grandpa is coming out. Yeah. He keeps shaking his hand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much as always for spending quality time with us. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that bell. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to comment below and share us out. Make sure you go to realnesters.com and get your merch. Yes, get the merch. We'll see you All right, on the next video. Peace. Peace.